Hi, I'm Barton from Rentler.com, and I'm here to help you get the most out of our property management tools. In this video, we're going to walk through how to apply to a new listing uh, as a tenant. The most common way to apply to a new property is when you're in the middle of a search and you've found a place. You'll see the Supply Now button right here. And if the property that you're looking at has decided to accept applications through the Rentler platform, you can just click right on that button and it'll take you into your application. Now we're going to back out for just a minute. There's a few other ways that you might actually uh, get an application request from a landlord. If you uh, jump into your email, you could find this, you've been invited to apply email from a particular landlord, and you can click right on this button here, start your application, we'll click on that. And just like if you clicked on that apply now button from a listing, it'll drop you right into that application page within uh, your Rentler dashboard. Now there is one final way uh, that you could be prompted to fill out an application. So we're going to jump back to your dashboard. If you just logged in, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. But we are going to jump down to the Applications tab here on the left. Now I have uh, accepted a, a invitation from Anthony Phillips here to fill out the application for that property. And so if you have uh, gotten an invitation, it'll show up here in the Applications dashboard as well. So we're going to click on that and we are going to edit some of this information really quickly. But once you have filled out all of your information, one of the really nice things as a tenant is you don't have to fill it out again. We have this information within the system and anytime you want to fill out a new application, all you have to do uh, is say apply now or follow the link in the email. It'll drop you here. All of your information will already be in here and so you can apply simply. Uh, by just clicking the apply now button. Now in this instance, the landlord has asked for a screening to be attached to the application. So you see that down here, you cannot submit uh, this particular application in full until you've completed a screening. But let's jump back up here. We're gonna add some information in here. Um, and so we do have some work history. Uh, so we are gonna say that we've worked at Rentler and we'll say, I currently work here. So we'll update that. Now I've got a little bit of work history in there. Let's add some residential history. All right. Update that. Now we have a little bit of, uh, let's say we've got a dog and his name is Fido. He is spayed and neutered, so we'll update that. We'll add a quick emergency contact. Update that. All right, let's say we have some additional income and we uh, run a blog on the side and let's say we make $600 a month from that. Do we have a vehicle? Um, we don't have any dependents. And then down here, we have a lot of other questions. If you click into it, it'll prompt you to fill out all of these uh, in succession. So then we'll update that. All of that information shows up down here. Then finally, uh, you do have to agree to the Rentler terms and conditions after you have your uh, application information filled out. So let's just start at the top here. Um, and you can see all of our information is filled in there now. I agree to the terms and conditions. Like we said earlier, to complete this in full, uh, you do have to actually fill out a screening. All right, and this is where we would pay for our background check. Um, in this instance, our landlord uh, or our potential new landlord is requiring us to fill out a screening uh, with our application. So we can't fully submit this application until we complete this screening. And so once you've filled out your application, it'll drop you onto this page where you can fill all that information out. We are going to actually back out. So let's say for some reason you don't have your uh, credit card on you or uh, you're just not ready to fill this out. You want to ask them a question before you fill this information out. Um, and let's say you just stop and you click back out on applications. Right here, you'll see the application isn't finished um, because you have a screening that is requested. So let's click back into there. It will show here where you've already filled out all of your uh, application information because we did submit that. Remember, uh, we said submit and start screening. Um, but we can jump back in here and it'll show you right here. They are requesting a screening. So we're going to click start screening there. It'll drop you right back into uh, the exact same place. But you would fill out all of your information. This is completely secure, uh, and we don't share any of this information with the landlord. And if you were doing this uh, on your own, uh, and you were filling out some paper information, you would have to actually share all this with them. Uh, so they will get a full uh, credit and background screening report, but it won't have your uh, social security number or birthday, anything like that on there. And uh, in this instance, uh, like we said, the landlord is actually 
making you pay for your credit and background check. Um, and because of that, it is a self uh, pulled credit and background check. Why is that important? Well, in this instance, what that means is your credit won't actually be dinged. It's a soft pull. And so it won't affect your credit score, uh, but they will, as a landlord, get all of the information that they need. You have to accept the terms and conditions. Um, and basically what this is saying, like I just said, is that this is a self uh, pulled credit report. And so we're gonna agree to the screening terms and conditions, click next, depending on the uh, information, uh, it will uh, take a few minutes um, to get this to the landlord, but it should uh, actually end up in their account within a few hours. Just so we can maintain that uh, it is you and not somebody else, you will be prompted to answer a few questions. Answer those correctly. We will verify that uh, you are who you say you are. Click next and you're done. You have submitted your screening. Down here, you can click and view your credit report. Uh, one of the things that we do is we actually provide you with a uh, copy of your credit report as well. Um, and so here in your application, we'll actually click back out just so we can show you exactly where that is. Uh, but you will click into this application. It'll land you on this page. Again, that's all your basic application information. And then if you've had to submit a credit report with this application, it'll show as a secondary tab right here. You can click on credit report and review all of the exact information that your landlord is getting. Again, we reiterate, this is a self-pull and it will not impact your credit score.